This is how you design beauty for model that stands out against a crowd. A great design only needs three guidelines. I'll walk you through all of them so you can design your very own dream beauty for model. It takes a few weeks to fully plan, draw, and bring a model. A solid design can save you time and also give you a strong start to your beauty journey. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I love all things VTuber, and on this channel, I'll give you the complete guide to become a VTuber yourself. Let's get started. For this video, I'll be designing a cybernetic cat VTuber. I suggest choosing one to three themes and a few supporting personality traits. Clarity on first impression is your goal. Before you get into the specific guideline, you should create a reference board. You can do this by creating a Pinterest board with images relating to your ideas. Pinterest is nice because as you build up your references, it recommends similar images based on what you've already saved. Likewise, you can organize your own set of images in a blank canvas if that works better for you. Next, draft an initial design. Keep it loose. We'll have it undergo a lot of changes throughout the video. And also, keep in mind, when you're streaming, you will most likely be showing the upper half of the character. So don't go too crazy on the legs, unless you want to. Yeah? Oh, it's, uh, it's Ollie. How did we figure out it was Ollie, even before we see her? Of course, it's because of her silhouette. Characters are recognizable through their silhouette because of identifiable shapes. Strong silhouette offers clarity, and they can even offer a sense of their personality. You can lean your designs into circles, triangles, or squares to signal certain traits. Circles tend to exude comfort and friendliness. Squares are strong, sturdy, and reliable. Triangles are sharp, unpredictable, and dynamic. Consider covering your design in a black silhouette. Invalidate what you can push or exaggerate to make it more iconic. A small tip. It can be just as simple as a small visual flare near the head. For my design, I exaggerate the head, jacket, and shoes. I also push angular and circular shapes as I see fit. With that done, we can move to the color palette. Hold up. Don't add too many colors. Why don't we narrow our choices just a little bit? With an array of colors to choose from, how do we decide what color works best for us? There are many ways to approach colors, but I recommend picking one main color, one secondary color, and a few supporting colors in the end. Be selective. Clarity is what we strive for with our colors, and that is best achieved by limiting our palette to a few choices. Interestingly, colors by themselves can signify a range of character traits such as red, representing energy and passion, or yellow representing happiness and youth. Of course, color associations are more like guidelines, so while yellow might signal happiness, it could signal danger to others. If you have trouble coming up with the color combination, we can use color theory. Color theory is thought of as the harmonious relationship of colors on the color wheel. Some examples include analogous, where the colors are next to each other, or complementary, where the colors are opposite of each other. I have included a link to the website so you can try for yourself and see what works. One tip about colors is that black, white, gray, and brown are neutral colors. Neutral colors aren't on the color wheel, but they can complement your palette without disrupting the balance of colors. They can enhance variation, soften vibrancy, and highlight focal points in the piece. My favorite example of this is Bay, where her general design is based on the concept of chaos and further inspired by Japanese tamari ball. The blue, yellow, and red are loud and clashing, but the black and white ties her palette together in a more controlled chaos for her design. For my own design, I thought that the robot was kind of boring, so I took inspiration from a lamp unexpectedly. What has more appeal? This or this? Most people will say that the bottom set of boxes have more visual appeal than the top set of boxes. Why is that? This leads to the final guideline, big, medium, and small. When it's applied to design, we can think of it like a stage. The main visual element is sharing the stage with the lesser secondary element, which is being further supported by details. For example, in Iris 2.0, her main design is concentrated on her head and her dress. This is gauged upon first glance. The secondary element that support these main elements are her horns, her ruffles, and her flowers. 
Some of the smaller details include her crown, her lacing, and the bows in her hair. While all these elements are on stage, taking place on her head and her dress, her leg serves as point of rest for our eyes. Otherwise, there will be competing elements with one another. A lot of this is subjective, so what you may consider to be big, medium, and small may differ from mine. I find that most VTuber designs tend to have their main elements, but struggle with some of the more supporting details. Perhaps you can add accessories to the hair, have wings in unique places, or have a nice hat. Be creative. The design process takes a while, but it's well worth it. Here is the final design I came up with. And here is the polished version. Ready to bring your design to life? Watch this next video to learn how to separate your drawing for Live 2D. It's super easy, I promise. Feel free to support me by subscribing to my channel or checking out my live stream here on YouTube. Your support means a lot.